So less than a week ago, I went to an event called Mecom, the world's largest collector car auction. I used to watch these auctions on TV all the time. Sometimes watching the auctions on the TVs playing in the background while I was working at Texas Roadhouse would be the only thing that got me through the shift. But I never even thought about attending the auction in person. I guess I used to think that you had to be made of money to even show yourself in a place like this, but here we are. When I went to the auction five days ago, I didn't bring my camera because I didn't know exactly what to expect. But as a guy who's very into cars, especially classic American muscle cars, Mecham was the depiction of a perfect world to me. Over 4,500 cars, from Volkswagen Beetle pickup truck conversions to Ferrari Enzos and way more. It was almost overwhelming being there. After like six hours straight of walking, I probably saw only half the cars there, so I'm going back. And this time I'm bringing y'all with me, because every car enthusiast needs a taste of Mecham, including Ryan. So I brought him too. First car I see get an auction when I walk in, $400,000 Ford GT. The most expensive car I saw last time I came here was a $140,000 Tesla Roadster. So a lot pricier cars this time. Starting off on a high note. Y'all have seen me in drift cars before, so I'm gonna give the camera to Ryan. Yeah. I got it. It's already rolling. All right, cool. How's, How's it going? going, guys? Good, how are you? Go ahead and throw yeah. the seatbelts on for me. Oh yeah, definitely need those. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we have 797 horsepower under us today. Let's see how much of that we can lay down for you, okay? See me at the top, looking down, screaming white milk. Tell them throw the towel, they could never put the squad down. Switch it back to me, I'm rolling blush just cause the sun out. Awesome guys, thanks for coming out to see yeah. us. Yeah, thank you, that was no awesome. Problem. Yeah, Ryan's gonna go home and get a drift car now. There yeah, you go. Gonna make me get into it. Awesome guys, have a great rest of your day at Meekum, okay? You too. Thank you so much. First time getting sideways, what'd you think? It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Ferrari F40, Ferrari Enzo, 300 SL, 300 SL, and another 300 SL. AC Cobra, there's a couple of them here. I see these cars everywhere, but they're all replicas. Every single one, I've never seen a real one in person. I've always wanted to see a real one. I just dropped my lens cap and it went under the one and a half million dollar Porsche. Uh, oh no, it's right in the center there. My lens cap fell out of my pocket, rolled under. <laughs> that so would happen to you. It would happen. How far under is it? Thank you, you sir. Yep. It's been done. Jaguar XJ220, probably the coolest thing Jaguar has ever produced. 4GT Mark II, craziest 4GT I have ever seen with my own two. Well, not necessarily. I almost forgot. is the craziest 4GT I have ever seen with my own two eyes. Later today, that is going to be one of the most expensive 4GTs ever sold. I'm gonna guess seven and a half million. This will be the most expensive Plymouth Barracuda ever sold. I don't feel like reading all the reasons why, so read here if you're interested in why. And this right in front of me is the most valuable Corvette in the entire world. This car sold in 2014 for 3.85 million because of its color. Look under it. Yeah, the mirrors are a little bit foggy, but this car doesn't have a speck of dust on it. Quite literally, the cleanest car I've ever seen. I'm a strong believer that if you have a cool car, don't keep it in the garage. Get out there and use it. But if you got a car like that, keep that thing in the garage. That is a decoration, not a car. It's a regular Corvette. Silver car? I mean, a Corvette. Yeah, there's a couple of these here. Bro, these are literally coffins on wheels. I speak literally, not metaphorically. This is where you drive. Thing's really living up to its name, coffin on wheels. If you get in an accident on this thing, you can upgrade to that one. Yeah, if you get into an accident with this car and die, you're chilling, you're already in the coffin. They just leave you in the car and bury you like that. If I don't get put in one of these when I'm dead, then I don't want to die. <laughs> this truck makes me want to sing Bad to the Bone. 
Can we normalize putting a giant wing on El Caminos? It looks so good. I made such a noob mistake. I left all my spare SD cards in Ryan's car, so we just walked all the way back to get them. <laughs> We wanted to do it again. It smells like petrol. I thought they were keeping all the 300 SLs in that one room. Yeah, I guess. And then you come in here, it's just it's like. It's just in such an odd spot. Yeah. Considering how everything's grouped, and then you just have the same. I bet you there's more. If you're a Mopar guy, this room is for you. Or if you're a Dotson guy, this section of the room is for you. 300 ZX. This is the only Cobra that I could afford. <laughs> it might look like there's a lot of cars here, and there is. But when I was here last Sunday, there was like two times the amount of cars. Like this entire room was full. All of that, all of that was cars. You look at how big the showroom is. There's dozens of rooms just as big as this one that are filled with cars. 4,500 cars, and nearly every single one of them is mint condition. It's another real fancy room, but there's only two cars in specific that I'd like to show. One is the Porsche de car, because it's a factory off-road car, and the Lexus LFA. Last Sunday was my first time ever seeing an LFA in person. This is known as the best sounding factory car in the world. Ow! Ow. Ow. By most people. By most people. It's like the second best sounding. First best is... Lamborghini Murcielago SV. Murcielago SV. They're selling an AC Cobra right now. Here we are. Here comes auction room. Staging lanes now. Look how many super birds are about to get sold. And then on the other side, look at all the Corvettes that are about to get sold. Split window. That's a whole lot of split window. Right? That's a whole lot of split window right there. Yeah. Every car in the staging lanes right now is gonna sell for like quarter million dollars each. Bitters only. Now y'all already know, this wouldn't be a Dylan Crowley video without some sort of mission. Like a Mission Impossible type situation. After getting back from Meekum last time, I was snooping around their social media and I came across something. The Room. Two words worth tens of millions of dollars. I had no idea this even existed. I didn't even believe it was real until I saw it with my own eyes. There was one issue though. Your average Joe isn't allowed to step foot in this room. The only way in was to be a registered bidder. These cars are so expensive that the hands of the average person can't be trusted around these cars. We're not allowed in. We're, we're not allowed in, We're bro. brokers. Like, literally, if you thought the cars from earlier were pricey, just wait till you hear the price check on some of the cars in the room. But we'll get to that later, though. For now, we gotta find our way in here. We're about to try to finesse, finesse our way into something. Please look from here. We started by trying to talk our way through the entrance. You know, the whole, what if we promote this place to our social media followers trick. Of course that didn't work. You really think any of the people that run this place need money? However, we were told to go to the office and ask for media passes, where we were given a phone number and told to call a guy named Dave. How'd it go? I'm ready for that. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Bro, I thought he was done with the call. <laughs> uh, he was mad. He was mad? Yeah. He said, you did not really just call me to tell me you want a media pass on the second biggest day of the year. And he goes, I'm not doing that for you. I thought Dave was cool, man. I thought Dave was chill. All right, we just, we just ruined Dave's whole year. Second biggest day of the year. We've been trying so hard to get a media pass. We just walked all over the place, made some phone calls with some dude named Dave who turned out to be a... Very angry Dave. Very angry Dave. So, I don't know, I don't know. Are we giving up hope yet? Ultimately, we decided that, of course we aren't giving up hope yet. That's not what we do here. But then we proceeded to walk as far south as we possibly could, which turned out to be a pretty bad idea. And you'll see why in a minute. Me and Ryan ventured too far, and now we're trapped. This is the only way. Yeah. There's a Resvani over there, which is pretty cool, but I'm not gonna walk over there because, well. 
a Raptor 6x6 and a Gladiator 6x6. That's a cool Gladiator build. Today we've seen some of the strangest Jeeps. <laughs> You're right. The Dirt had a personal problem with this Fox Body STO. And only this one in particular. No, no cars around it are dirty like this. My shoes just got soaked. There's water in my shoes now. Bro, we are, me and Ryan are completely trapped right now. It's game over. We're gonna have to watch the auction shoeless. Oh. Oh. Me and Ryan just found something that changes the auto industry forever. It's the Infinity Infinity. This thing's got Magnaflow exhaust on it. <laughs> Rolling up to the middle of the block now, a 1966 Ford GT40 Mark I road car. The Infinity Infinity. That's insane. That's what you need to survive the apocalypse. Yeah, there's a sink faucet right there. What's peeking behind these curtains though? Just a NASCAR. Just a NASCAR. But we can walk oh, in that's there. A UPS truck. One Le Mans cementing for all time the significance. NASCAR. NAS. Bro, do you hear that? Oh, they just wait. started out the NASCAR. Oh, what's this? Wait a minute. So that does not have a four cylinder in it. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Ryan, they're selling something really expensive right now. How much? Uh like four million right now. Wait, what? Wait, what was that? Five, those two five, years, five million, and those were not spot? Ford. I don't know if we can make it inside, but there's a TV over here. It's the GT, bro, it's the Ford GT. It Let's run, we can make it inside, we can make it inside. Come on, we gotta go. Here, go this way, go this way. Dude, no way they got this car in there. We're missing it, we're missing it. Where'd he go? Oh. Ryan's being slow. I ain't waiting for him. Six million dollars. Six million dollars. Six million. Thank you, George. Six million five. Six million five. Six million five. All right, let's run inside. Barely made it out of the field. This is not ideal. Nope. Don't go that way. Dead end. Dead end. <laughs> We hit a dead end. Registered gold bidders only. That's not me. Oh wait, never mind. We're good. We're good. Keep going. Can we get up there? No, that's the bidders. That's why I said go upstairs. Worth the shot. Kissimmee, let's make some noise. So there we have it. Sold. 66-4 GT40 Mark I One road car. Yeah. Just I really would have bought it if I was here. Man, I ran so far to get that shot. That car selling was literally the reason we came here today on Friday. As I was mud. stuck in the mud, I was like, I feel like that car is gonna be selling as soon as we're Bro, it's because I have the camera out. So of course something wild had to happen, you know? Honestly, dude, running running for that car probably was better for the video than if we were just sitting there watching it. Another room that we haven't even walked in yet. Like, there's just endless cars here. It's almost 80 degrees and I'm wearing pants. And I just ran like a mile. Ferrari Testarossa. Look, it only has one rear view mirror. The other side, there's no mirror. Because this mirror is so long that you can see all the cars behind you. Dude, imagine spending like $300,000 on a car that only has one mirror. No, nope. no, Ryan, it's, it's a luxury feature. I would literally sue the company. No, it just put that. another mirror on the other side. Yeah, but I don't want to do all that extra work. Time is money. You sound like Dave, man. Dave thinks Dave is a time is money type of guy. It seems like my college is costing $3,000. It's like I had this list of cars that I wanted to watch get auctioned and there's just so much to see around here that we just like can't focus on one thing at a time. We're walking one place and all of a sudden we come across another room that we've never seen before. Odometer reads 147 miles. This thing's nearly 147 years old. Some crazy looking case of deals. Oh, yeah. Mercedes 540K. I don't know anything about this car, but supposedly Ryan does. You can read everything right there. What we want to know is the price. Yes. Me and Ryan refuse 
to miss this one. Yeah, that. since I missed the Ford GT, this one's a little bit more affordable for me. No, so no. these bugs don't even understand that they're walking on a $3 million Barracuda. Wow. This place is like Bucky's. Too much going on. It's really overwhelming, but it's cars instead of people, so it's really cool. All right, for another perspective on, on how big this place is, here's another room that we haven't been in yet, starting with the Lamborghini Diablo. 15 years and $2.3 million to build this car. This is a $300,000 paint job. This paint job costs more than your average Lamborghini. And this fire truck, or at least it was a fire truck, next to it is also insane. Me and Ryan ended up watching a Ferrari from The Room get auctioned off, but we saw an opportunity in this. This car would have to be driven back into The Room after it sells, which meant maybe the security would be too distracted to notice me and Ryan casually sneaking right into- Okay, the plan was dumb, it didn't work. This is as far in as I was able to make it today. <laughs> but someone, a registered bidder, saw me and Ryan as we were turned away by the security, and a new game plan was born. You're awesome, Here. man. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Off with it because I'll hurt right. you down. <laughs> yeah, so you want me to come back right here? Yeah, yeah, dude, we'll be right here. <laughs> hey, never give up. Here goes now, baby. Alright. Yeah. Oh yeah, and as for the cost on these cars, did I hear right? Three hundred million? Don't worry, he did not hear that right. I'd say around twenty to thirty. That's well, I guess. Yeah, I think there's two of these. One of them sold for twenty-two million last year. I don't know if it was this one. I'll tell you what, Dave is gonna have some photos sent to him tonight. Look at us now, Dave. Look at us now. It was pretty cool walking around the room and even getting guided around by one of the security guards that turned us away from the entrance earlier. And that's a wrap. We got a lot of good pictures. Awesome. Sorry, we were in there for a minute. Oh, that's all right. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, we saw you take a picture. I'm like, well... And major shout out to the guys who gave us their passes. We just talked to them for a minute, they were really cool. As crazy as it sounds, the camera has probably seen like less than a quarter of the cars here. Like I cannot put into perspective how big this place actually is. been here for like 12 hours and we're not even bored yet. Legs are tired, but we're not even bored. Me and Ryan are surrounded by some of the first cars ever. This has gotta be the oldest. This has gotta be the oldest. 1905. It's so funny, dude. Why are, why are cars this old just comical? This room just sounds like. It's nine at night. We've been here since like 10. And once again, we find a whole nother room that we haven't even, like there's just a LFA chilling. And this room goes as far as the eye can see. Hey, hey, I'm not gonna say many details right now, but possible Stradman collab in this video. Hamilton collection. Uh, Daniel Mac, for those of you who care who he is, I, <laughs> Daniel I Mac. And Shmi150, for those of you who know who he is. He's the British YouTuber who goes, hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hi guys, I'm Shmi. The reason we said there's a chance we'd meet all these big YouTubers is because we had plans to go to the grand opening event of a place called the Motor Enclave the next day, where all these famous YouTubers would have been there. 
but the plans didn't really work out at all, and it was a nightmare altogether. But I got some pretty entertaining footage from that chaotic day, so I figured I might as well throw it in here before I end the video. So we're stuck in this for an hour. We're three miles. Three point five miles. And fifty. Three point five miles and fifty eight minutes of traffic. This is worse than Disney traffic. Someone probably. New day, new car event. Uh, it's the next day, actually. Ryan, would you like to explain what this event is? You know, you know more than I. What? Bro, we are so so far from the event right now. It's we're, gas station. We're not far. We're three miles away. Uh, but we're an hour away. Yeah. Since this line is not moving at all, I'm gonna go see what's at this gas station right now. Station wagon. Look at the wrap on this thing. I've already seen a car show. This guy just abandoned his truck. Oh wait, the truck's moving. Wait, is there? The truck's rolling. Is there no one in it? There's oh. no one in it. Oh, shoot! Oh. Yeah, dude, this truck just started rolling back into the road. It just started rolling back into the road. Nobody in it. I think oh, the guy- start to roll? It started rolling back. It was just right there. Oh, wow. I think the guy just abandoned his truck and decided to walk the rest of the way. Yeah. Well, none of this worked out. I just talked to some kids and they said that someone flashed a gun and they shut the whole event down. So that's probably why helicopters out here. Bad news. Did the truck hit someone? No, the truck is fine. The, someone flashed a gun and they shut the event down. What? Yeah. Out of all things. It turned out the real reason we weren't allowed to enter was because they didn't have anywhere for people to park on their 200 acre lot. Um, was this footage even worth adding to the video? I don't know. Comment your feedback down below. Let's me know how I can improve. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video.